Hello, hello, and welcome to Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, 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 grow together. Well, it is good to be here with you. I hope that all is well. I hope that things are going well for you. And I hope that you are enjoying your garden and this new gardening season. And welcome to those that are waiting and have already given me a thumbs up, a like. Isn't that fantastic? It's so good to know that you are looking forward to our time together here. Well, I do have a, a an interesting conversation for us today, and it has to do with watermelon, watermelon, and growing watermelon in our zone six garden in the northeast, and how best to grow it. Um, I did a series of videos uh, for the last couple of um, years from I think 2019 or actually before that 2017 18 and 19 planting uh, sugar baby watermelons in my garden and uh, the question that I kept asking is the watermelon ripe because you know that our growing season is not as long as it is in the south uh, that in the south that uh, you can grow watermelon and huge watermelons well I found the sugar baby watermelon through my trusty uh, Dollar Tree seed and uh, these this is an American seed company and this is uh, the sugar baby watermelon and they do grow they do grow uh, but you have to just hope, one, that they germinate quickly, two, that you don't run out of time. And I believe Sonia's here with me. Hi, Sonia. How are you? So good to, to have you with me. Yes. And the other thing that might happen is that it may begin to rain. We've been getting some rain here and some warm days. So this is really a good time to think about planting out your watermelon, cantaloupe, and other different types of, um, you know, melons, and also your pumpkins, your winter squash, and, and, and the rest. And that is what I've been doing. I've just been planting and seeding out things, and it has been a lot of fun. So I was thinking that containing my garden. Hello, Catherine Ho, how are you? Containing my garden. I'm glad to have you with us here. So that's why I decided, well, let me get with it. Let's get started and start thinking about this process. Now, I have a playlist of that same thing, and I did put it in my community, on my community page of um, is the watermelon ripe or growing watermelons in our um in our region here let me see if i can pull it up um yeah and so it is it is a good idea but then also i wanted to share with you that there are different ways of getting things going um you can either plant things uh, from seed, because this year, in my, I don't have my book, my journal with me, but if you have a copy of my journal, um, uh, that you will see that one of the things you, I wanted, um, we need to do is to think about what are our goals for this gardening year and actually going back and reflecting on the goals and seeing are you fulfilling those goals that, because we want to garden intentionally right intentional garden and i love these ideas of the challenge and thinking about different things uh, that you want to grow like for us hey yami how are you <laughs> for us here at uh, catherine's garden and home where we grow 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 together we're thinking about growing our herbal tea garden right and our kitchen garden and and growing a lot of foods. Good evening, Miss Catherine, Garden Friends. Hey, Beverly, Gardens Are Me is here with us. Yay! Hey, Bev. And we, we want to think about um, 
growing different things. So one of the things that we want to make sure that we're doing is that we're propagating our plants and propagating them and creating our own plants, starting either from seed or from cuttings or um, dividing from roots, you know, dividing the plants. Um, how else? We could, you could do leaf cuttings um, and all of these different methods and really take the time this year to figure out how can you do that because what that does is it helps you to multiply your your plantings um, today my husband and I we went down to Home Depot and there I saw all of these trays of different annuals and annuals that I know that I could start from seed like marigolds marigolds are so easy to start yourself from seed all you need is some soil and the seed and you just plant it and you care for it you water it you give it what it needs and it will grow and it doesn't take long to grow whereas buying it from the from Home Depot or a gardening center uh, you you are only getting six flowers maybe seven if you're lucky or eight in in the seed pack right and, um, and it's costing you like five to six dollars whereas if you buy the American seed which is four for a dollar twenty five cents <laughs> or less or even even if you pay a dollar for some seeds or if you get seeds for sale it's just so easy uh, yes I planted my marigolds all from last year's seeds and see that if you save your seeds then you are able than to have a lot of plants and you don't have and and then gardening doesn't become so expensive i mean it can be expensive if you're going to buy different you know expensive plants of course but you can also save a lot of money by propagating learning propagation techniques and one of the things is by planting things by seed and um that's why the winter bottle uh, sowing method is so powerful too, because uh, there are some plants that you need to, some seeds you need to plant early in the year. Like you can plant them out in January and February and put them in the bottling thing, you know, in a, a plastic bottle with soil, putting holes. I have videos on that too, of the process. And there are plenty of videos on YouTube showing you how to do winter bottle sewing um, and now look at this this is my hey Monica hi everyone in the chat how are you Monica this is my oregano that I started from bottle uh, seed planting I have actually now um, I have three of these um, from the bottle seed planting and look at how beautiful they look now, if I were to go into um, the garden center and saw this, they would charge me at least $6, if not more, for this oregano, right? They're going to charge me some good money, but look at that. Just by using my Dollar Tree 25-cent seeds and the bottle method, just giving it some time, I'm able to save and have my own. And then, this is the mint. Remember this, the seed? Don't look at that press because that's not what it is. This, this here, um, this is from a cutting that I took of my spearmint and I put it in water and it rooted and then I put the rooted uh, stem. It was just one little stem, one little stem. And I put it in here and, um, or maybe it was two, two little stems. <laughs> I put two of them together and um, well, Look, like this and look at it look at how it's growing and soon I can transplant this into either a bigger pot or put my spearmint in the in the garden in my, my herbal tea garden and this this I when I bought this because I actually bought this uh, spearmint that looked just like this from the from the um, the garden shop, you know, the garden store center. Um, I think I paid 
$4.99 or $5 for this. And look at this, I could create my own just by clipping off the leaf, putting it in water and giving it a little time and then transplanting it. So there are different ways of propagating and making your own plants. Like um, I've been watching videos on how to do that with geraniums, that you don't have to buy um, so many geraniums, which are expensive and then um, petunias. You could also do that with petunias and some of the other things. It is getting very windy out here. It's gonna rain. That's why I'm getting started. So those of you who have come early, you are, um, hopefully it will not rain before we, you know, our time is up. Hopefully we'll be able to stay here for the next hour before it starts to rain. Um, but um, I'm so glad for you showing up here. So I did a video, uh, Growing Watermelon in a Cool Climate. So if you check out the community page, you will see that I actually highlighted that video of me. Uh, Catherine's gone in home um, with, with that. Um, me, gr my growing um, sugar babies, watermelon. The sugar baby watermelon. Now, Adam, Ron, Rambo is not here, but Rambo um, had a video. I was watching my videos, you know, and I came across Rambo, and Rambo was talking about the watermelon challenge that is being given from some of the guys, um, like uh, Broke Farmer, uh, Family um, Supreme Family uh, Garden, and um, and uh, some of the other guys there. And I think that we should all participate in this challenge. Why? Because it's fun. Two, because uh, I know Supreme, I know Supreme because um, he, he and I started uh, this YouTube business um, around the same time with Jules, his wife, and I used to love to watch them down there in Florida um, and how they would, um, you know, have to to fight the snakes and the the crocodiles and all of that stuff <laughs> florida all the snakes hidden in the grass but anyway um so he has a really good video on that and i happen to come across it um hey betty johnson how are you and he was giving some tips on gardening and then uh, this one video is on sugar baby watermelons this is my sugar baby watermelon this is I have them this is sure two by three oh, you can't see it. square um raised bed i have four plants and the four plants produce all of these vines um, let me see this i wanted to show you wrong sugar baby watermelons by backyard gardener. backyard gardener backyard, backyard gardener video. i don't this know video is i don't know if you know backyard gardener she was she started around the same time i did as well and um this is three years ago and she did a really good video on growing sugar baby watermelons and she's up north also and uh, she grew it in a container when we grow watermelons, we have to give watermelons um, some extra care. You know, you have to make sure that it's in the pl a location where <clears throat> the soil is really lush and full of organic matter. And then you also have to make sure that it's getting enough heat because um, watermelon is a plant um, that loves heat and making sure that it gets a lot of water. Hi, Deborah Theodore, how are you? And Betty Johnson and everyone. So if you have, uh, I don't know if it's too late to get some watermelon seeds. I happened to when I was um, picking up my, you know, my regular haul of American seeds from the Dollar Tree. I, I saw the watermelon seeds and I wasn't going to get them. I said, oh, I did that before. I'm, it's, you know, it's so much work to, to plant watermelons. Um, but I did. I said, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to get just at least one pack. And I'm so glad I did because 
I'm going to participate in this challenge, even just for myself. And I decided that this time I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to start it in this container full of potting soil. This is potting mix. And uh, then I'm going to up pot it into a larger pot. Or if, if not, I will put, the, put it back in a nice sunny location with a lot of good composted soil and allow it to grow there so that I can get some sugar baby um, watermelon. And I, I, I have to tell you this, um, it's sometimes it's kind of difficult to tell if the watermelon is right. And so I did a playlist of that. Is the watermelon ripe? And if you go to the community page, it will take you directly to my um, my videos on that because I have a playlist in Catherine's Garden and Home. And also um, I have some really good um, <clears throat> videos. The videos are really good on it. And it was a lot of fun. My um, daughter, <clears throat> my daughter, she, I'm trying to see if I could pull it up. My daughter, she also participated in it with me. She was really, really good about it. My daughter, she was uh, with me and she, and we talked about it together. Let's see, my playlist. I have such a, so many playlists. Let's see. Is the watermelon ripe? That's the playlist. Is the watermelon ripe? <clears throat> and you'll see it. It, it's, it talks about how I grew watermelons. It looks like this. <laughs> this is the playlist. Is the watermelon ripe? And we had a lot of fun growing watermelons. And my, my daughter, she also participated in it with me. She was my taste tester. And uh, she would tell me, because she loves watermelon, she'd say, Mom, this watermelon doesn't taste good. Oh, Mom, this watermelon tastes good. Hi, Miss Catherine. Hi, Chad. I was stuck in the ads for a while. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so put in the chat. It, hi, Darlene Brown. Hey there, everyone. I'm here listening too. How are you, Darlene? Um, have you grown watermelon? <clears throat> put in the chat if you've grown watermelon in your area. Have you grown watermelon, Rachel? Put it in. Have you have you um, uh, grown watermelon? Put it in the chat. And um, watermelon uh, can be tricky, but if you give it what it needs, it will grow. It because our nights have been very cool um, here. You might want to start it in a little greenhouse or in a little. Uh, a different, you know, a separate place. I tried, but an animal stole my seedling. I had some sugar baby, baby seeds. Okay, Rachel. Yes. So try it because there's a challenge going on. I don't know if you know of it. Supreme Family Garden, Garden, Gardener, um, Supreme Family Garden. I think that's the title of his, um, his, <clears throat> his channel. Anyway, he's my good friend. I call him Supreme. A good a YouTube friend, he uh, is sending out a, a watermelon challenge. And he's actually the one who inspired me to even attempt to, to do this. So you might want to try it out and, um, and grow watermelons. I'm in the city, so if you hear music in the background, that's my neighbor playing his music. All of a sudden, he's like, he wanted to play his music. <laughs> But anyway, we got instant music. This, um, Deborah said, this is my third year trying to grow watermelons. The first year I had, I had one the size of a baseball. Last year it was larger, but not ripe. Hopefully I will get a good one this year. Yeah, so it does take, let me read the specs for you. It says, this variety is a long time favorite because of its quickness. Three times a charm. Yes, Rachel. Uh -huh. 
because it is it's quickness to set fruit and very sweet flavor. Melons weigh up to eight pounds and are about eight inches in diameter when mature. Flesh is medium red of fine texture and is not excessively seedy. Yeah. So um, you sow seeds indoors in a warm, well-lighted -lit area four to six weeks before last frost or sow seeds outdoors after all danger of frost is past and the soil is warm. So this is a good time if you want to direct sow. But I think that um, <clears throat> you, you definitely got to pamper it. Whatever it is, you're going to have to pamper that watermelon seed. So days to germinate, it takes about six to eight days to germinate and the depth is one half inch. Um, seed spacing six to every uh, six feet, row spacing and days to harvest. So the days to harvest, it says here 68 to 86 days. And so that's why we have a chance to possibly grow watermelon because we have enough days, 68 days to 86 days. Um, so I'm thinking, let's see, June, July, August, into September, and maybe a little bit of October. So by uh, the end of September, um, they should be ripe you know, right around there, September, October, and hopefully before it gets too cold and before the rains come. Um, so that's why you have to find the most sunniest spot in your garden if you are in a zone six or in a zone five and if you're growing it now. But I wanted to do that. I actually grew some, I put some seeds in a pot about two weeks ago and also uh, i mean a week ago because is it seeding yeah i think it's seeding now yeah it's um a sprouting actually and i also did cantaloupe too and um, um because i was inspired by watching supreme family i um seeded out some this morning and um, i'm going to actually do another um put some more in this pot here as well i put some dirt in it so you can watch me <laughs> plant my seeds you know it is so simple uh, Monica said last year I grew the Charantius melon and this year Charantius and the tiger tiger melon I can't eat watermelon it won't stay down oh no oh no sorry to hear that it won't stay down but maybe your family members will enjoy it yeah you also have to give it room because uh, it's a spreader or you can trellis it. I was looking at a video just now, um, two before, um, and the person gave some really good instructions and it was um, very nice how they showed, ooh, sorry, <laughs> I think I'm on my glasses, and that it's trellised, trellised up, you know, um, and it, it was cute showing the watermelons just hanging from the, tr the trellis. Uh, so if you don't have a lot of space, you can s consider that putting a trellis um, and allowing the watermelon to grow up the trellis. Just know that you're gonna have to give it a lot of support. And then it was talking about bugs, you know, and you can give it some neem oil if it's getting those little uh, white flies or whatever, aphids and so forth. Or you can, the person used a toothbrush and was brushing off the aphids and spraying them off. Yeah, so that's another thing uh, in the care of it. Yeah, so who else? Anyone else have grown watermelon? And um, do you like watermelon? First off, how many people like watermelon? Because if you don't like watermelon, then this challenge is not gonna make any sense for you. Uh, how many people like watermelon out of the people that are watching? Let me know by first hitting the like button. Hit the like button. And then putting in the chat if you like um, growing watermelons. Um, Rach, I love it. Pamela K uh, Kincaid. Hey, Pamela, how are you? I love it, she says. Debra Theater says, I love watermelon. Gardner Reese says, I don't like watermelon. <laughs> oh, well. Rachel says, love. Um, Sonia says, I love watermelon. All right, Sonia. I'm fine. That's good, Pamela. 
Yeah, so, you know, Darlene Brown, she says, love it. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. So these are all lovers of watermelon. So if you have any watermelon seeds or if you can get them, you know, uh, let's try this out. I tried growing it once and may try again. I eat it almost every day. Well, Betty, you should try it. I recommend it. Try it. You know, it may you may not get the joy of eating it until September at this time, but it is good to try it out, especially the sugar baby. I know that that this will grow, um, and that you will get something if you you know you will get some plants, some watermelon if you if you try it out. And. Um, <clears throat> It's, it's a challenge, but it is also, you know what I love? I love the leaves of the um, watermelon. I love how it's shaped. To me, it has such a beautiful look and appeal. Um, and it's, it's so much different from the squash leaves. And you know I like the vines. I do love it. I think it's so pretty. And if you are able to get that kind of trellis, like the arch trellis, and you could see the vines going up, and the watermelon, the fruit hanging down. Did you think that would be kind of cute? Um, Pamela says you can do a lot with it. I have seen people can it or make a drink out of it. Yeah, you know, a watermelon, <clears throat> even the rind has a lot of um, vitamins and really good for di digestion, they say, the watermelon juice. Um, Debbie says, I got started from my local nursery for a dollar. I figured it was worth the try. Yes, yes. My um, gardener friend, she actually uh, had some watermelon starts and cantaloupe starts too. But at the time I wasn't interested, so I didn't buy it, which now I wish it did. But still, even so, I can start it myself by um, starting my own watermelon starts. So I wanted to share this because, you know, as I said earlier, for those of you who just come on, I happened to go to Home Depot with my husband today. Watermelon chow chow is delicious. delicious. Oh, I've never heard of that watermelon chow chow. But anyway, um, but if it's delicious, good. That's good. Um, we went to Home Depot and I saw all of these annuals there, you know, annuals that you could start from seed, especially marigolds. And I'm like, my goodness, they're charging like six, five ninety nine, six dollars for a pack of, of marigold plants, which if you just put the seed in the ground right now, you'll have marigolds real soon because the soil is warm and the earth is ready to receive it. So we need to um, start saving seeds. Bev, uh, Gardens of Me, she said that she saves her seeds and she just planted out her marigold seeds. And I saved my seeds too from the marigolds and just sprinkled them out on. And they, um, and they, they have um, already started to grow and soon will be flowering as well. And so there's so many ways that you can enjoy your garden and not have it be so expensive, uh, especially for the common stuff, you know, like marigolds and cosmos and uh, cleome seeds, especially the flowers. And, and then for the pumpkin seeds, could you, you'd be so surprised at how many of my patty pan squash, my... Um, <clears throat> Other seeds, this, uh, Pamela says this year they, they want, went nuts. I love my flowers. Yeah, it's true. They did. You, you, got, um, you get so many plants from the marigold seeds too. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And you could just divide it. And it's, it's interesting. When it gets to a certain thickness, it's easy to part them, you know, to divide the marigolds. And you just plant them in. Flat plants are so forgiving. They're so forgiving and they are willing to uh, work with you if you work it, right? <laughs> so like what I'm going to do with my, um, my, this is my spearmint. I started this from a cutting, put the cutting in water, rooted it. And now look at this. I have all these roots. 
coming out of it. And I actually have two, two separate plants here. And so you can then um, plant it in. And I actually created another herbal tea bowl um, like I have over there and um, I got started with it. Well, I feel some sprinkling here on me. It's starting to uh, rain here. So we're gonna have to end soon. But um, I'm glad that you all came on and that we are able here to uh, talk about um, propagating plants and not being afraid to propagate and start from seed. This is oregano that I started from the Dollar Tree seeds. And look how, how good this is. And I have actually two more plants. And if I were to buy this oregano, it would cost me a lot of money. It is starting to rain, people. And I just wanted to show you my um, bouquet that I made for you. That's the spirea and also the dead nettle. And I'm gonna actually get the dead nettle to root, hopefully, and start some of that and spread it around. You, the rain started where you are too? Oh yeah, isn't that pretty? The spirea is so pretty. And then this here, this here, that's, um, that's apple, apple mint. Yep, apple mint. Right. So thank you so much. If you have not given me a thumbs up, do so, a like. If you haven't subscribed to Catherine's Garden Home, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You bought pineapple mint, good for you. Love to see you again, keep planting. Yes, Pamela, thank you for coming on. Um, grow, 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 grow together in Catherine's garden and home. That's right. Grow, 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 grow together. Yum. Apple mint is so good and so prolific. It just spreads. Have a blessed week, everyone. Yes. Grow, 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 grow together. Grow, 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 grow together in Catherine's garden and home. That's right. Catherine's garden and home. Uh huh. Catherine's garden and home. Yes, grow, grow, Deborah, some watermelon, grow, grow, everyone, some watermelon, grow, 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 grow together. Catherine's garden and home. Stay blessed, garden family. And I did so enjoy our time last week. And I hope that you will come back and join uh, me again on Wednesdays here. Um, your presence is so good. Oh, it looks like it's subsiding a little bit. That's good. That's good. Yeah, um, come and join me here and uh, continue to grow. I have been seeding out so many things. Um, as I said, the watermelon, the cantaloupe. I seeded out some marigolds, and that's been really good. Um, some Cleome seeds. You know, it's just like, it's my own little factory going on here. And it's, I, to me now is a really good time um, because everything is warm and things are willing and wanting to grow. So uh, do, do yourself a favor and keep on growing. Make sure you grow a lot of food. Grow your lettuces and your um, microgreens and all that good stuff. Yeah, so grow, grow, yeah, e -e -e. grow, grow. Hey, Catherine, would you like to be a guest on my love, on my love tomorrow, on your live tomorrow? Sorry, that got weird. <laughs> How does that work? On your live tomorrow, what time? What time on your live tomorrow? <laughs> Grow, 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 grow together. I'm thinking 10 a.m., but I haven't booked it. Okay. Um, all right. We can, we can work it out. 10 o'clock sounds fine. It's, it's doable. Um, you, you know my... Um, you could email me and let me know what's up. Okay? All right. Grow, 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 grow together. Uh, uh, grow, grow. And anyone else in here, if you want to pop on, just come in the chat and I'll drop the link for you. Oh, okay. That would be fine. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Thank you. 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock tomorrow? Okay. Um, and yeah, continue to grow your flowers so that you can make your bouquets as well and enjoy your garden. Yes. 
So anyway, that's it. 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, tomorrow, Rachel. I'll see you tomorrow. And everyone else, thank you so much for coming and joining me here at Catherine's Garden and Home, where we grow, grow, grow together. Um, it has been a quick one, but think about it. Think about growing um, watermelons. Think about growing different things and keep on growing. I might go 930, but somewhere around there. Okay, I'll look out for you. And, um, well, that's it. That's it. I was going to plant. Well, let me plant the seeds here before we go. I'm going to put the... So here we are, this day. All right. This is what the watermelon seed looks like. That's what the watermelon seed looks like, if you don't know. And then here I am. I'm going to drop four seeds into the, into the pot. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yep. And all you do is you just cover, just press it in there. You press it in, you cover it up, and you water it. Da da! It's done. <laughs> Make sure you mark it. I'm gonna mark this pot watermelon and put the the day today today's date on it so that i'll remember what i planted in the pot okay so make sure you do that that you mark you want and don't waste your seeds put them back inside any extra seeds that you have put them back inside your envelope because the thing is is that they're um they'll still be good all right and you'll have some for another time that's another thing save your seeds keep your seeds because you don't know what to, um, next year is going to be like and you want to make sure that you have seeds to grow things that you enjoy all right well have a good evening everybody i try to be so diligent about labeling but still end up with some random plants yes yeah that's true that happens um, uh, so I hope all is going well for you, my gardening friends. And yes, I am signing off. <laughs> Let's try this again. Grow, grow. What is the name of the channel? Rachel, what is the name of your channel? Put your, your information in, in the chat so people can come and join us at, at uh, 9, 30, 10 o'clock tomorrow. Right? Where we grow, 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 grow together. And Rachel and Catherine's garden. Brampton Gardener. And Brampton Gardener. Brampton Gardener. Grow, 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 grow together. Grow, 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 grow together. Grow, 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 grow together. And Catherine's garden and home. That's right. <laughs> there you go. It's uh, youtube.com at Brampton Gardner. Connie Henderson, good evening. Keep growing cheerfully. Yes, Connie, how are you? Yeah, it seems like it's it stopped raining. It's kind of like drizzling. That's why I'm hanging on here. But I'm going to come off now. And um, I think I spoke about everything um, that I wanted to share with you all. So have a good, um, have a good afternoon. And uh, thank you for popping in. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And check out those other gardeners. Uh, Supreme Family Gardener, Garden, he has some really great tips too on how to grow watermelon. Is Catherine the happiest gardener on YouTube? <laughs> I have a reputation. Oh, wow. That's a good rep. <laughs> anyway. That's cool, that's cool. Um, and I don't know where Broke, Broke Farmer is, but Broke Farmer is one of the, those people running this challenge with the watermelon, as well as Rambo. So check out Rambo's um, channel because he too uh, started his uh, watermelon and the watermelon challenge. Um, so 
uh, uh, let's all just have fun and enjoy our our year this 2023 in spite of all that's going on we've got to find some joy in it right Rachel we got to find some joy you've got Dexter who keeps you busy yeah and keeps you um, enjoying your time so thank you Sonia for helping me here um, with the moderating Maureen Diva in the Dirt has accepted the watermelon challenge as well in Canada. So yeah, yeah, yay for her. Okay. Yes, crazy Dexter. Uh huh. You got Dexter to keep you, you joyful. Yami, thank you for coming on. Yami uh, is uh, so good with watching the videos. Make sure that yes, I call her delightful Catherine. Oh, thank you, Monica. You're so sweet. Um make sure that you when you watch the replay or watch the videos oh i have some really good garden um, videos coming up my garden is coming alive make sure you watch those little clips uh that's where you'll see the flowers here these two flowers here oh it's so beautiful and you guys my mother of pearl rose it's bloomed it's bloomed, it's beautiful. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy to see the rose. And uh, my other roses are coming back as well, slowly but surely. And I went, wanted to go rose hunting today at Home Depot, but they don't have any roses. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's tomorrow and check them out and see if I can get me a rose bush or two. Yeah, to add to the garden yeah so it's gonna be a lot of um, it's gonna be a good year a good year of growing and gardening so continue to stay connected uh, with me here at Catherine's garden and home continue to um, to grow don't quit we just just begun we just begun so keep on sowing seeds and uh, watch your garden grow uh, the other thing is is with the water and the rain you know start to think of different ways that you can um yes your garden is beautiful thank you monica thank you uh think of ways that to um conserve water and um we've been doing some heavy mulching here uh, my husband's using the grass clippings and dirt mulch on top uh, to really contain the um the moisture and uh, I've been putting like pots and stuff all over the garden where I can harvest the water and use them uh, use the water the rainwater to water specific plants especially my little seedlings that I put down so you know uh, start think about things like that um, and uh, we will have more discussions as we continue to go through this gardening season of 2023 all right so let's grow 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 together Catherine's garden and home that's right grow 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 together in Catherine's garden and home whenever I have one of your garden videos on my husband walks by he stops and says wow that is a gorgeous yard wow that's so nice that's sweet that's sweet all right, everybody, thank you so much for watching and see you next time here in Catherine's Garden and Home where we grow, grow, grow together. Have a great afternoon. It looks like it stopped raining, but it better get going. I want some rain. Rain, rain, come today, now. <laughs> it better rain after interrupting my video it better rain bye everybody bye sonia thank you <laughs>